All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Renewed Podcast. I am your host, Phil. To my left, we got our host that is back from Germany. Introduce yourself. What's up, guys? Co-host Xander Moore. We're back, ready to get this podcast going. That's right. And to my extreme left, just switching up the seats here a little bit, I got our other co-host. Introduce yourself. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Ethan Heath. I'm another co-host, uh, and I'm also back. I went to Washington State. This Thank you, Phil, for, for mentioning that. Sorry I know I'm not the concierge <laughs> of the freaking pod where I know everybody's travel, but I'm glad that you're back, man. I I'm know. Bl- I love you guys. I'm just being passive-aggressive <laughs> today. Yeah, it's just like you. it always feels like you're a part of us, so it never feels like you're missing. Yeah. This yeah. is true. That's you're how always, I, yeah. honestly, it was, it was different, man. You're I, always I here. missed you. Coming in the gym for two weeks straight. With no one. Solo. Tell I'm just me about it. Looking around. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I need a spot. Miss your gym, bro, man. You know what I'm it's just not the same. It's not the same, man. I go in there, I'm like, I could put on another play or put on another ten, but I don't got I don't got the spot. Did you work me. out in Germany? I did. Not as much as I'd like. <laughs> okay. But I did out of out of like because you were there for what like 14 days how, how many days yeah, about 15 two 15 and two days of travel so you Six, were gone oh, wait 16 including the two days of travel so you were there 14 yeah yeah okay so out of the 14 days that you were there how many days did you work out uh let's see <laughs> first week i think i went like three or four so i was pretty uh-huh. active the first week skipped legs though because i'm like I'm on vacation. Not really. I'm not really on vacation. It's like but I, I need my legs to walk around in beautiful places. <laughs> exactly. If I'm sore, I can't travel. That's I exactly. I understand that. I feel that. 100%. Exactly what I was saying. The we'll, second we'll week, uh, yeah, that was a little iffy. Maybe like twice. So a total of six times. Could have been better. Six out of dude. Yikes, man. Yeah. Six you took to a week ratio. off, bro. Yeah. You took a week off, basically. I know. Oh, man. And since I've been back, I've only been able to go twice. So I'm feeling pretty small. Small, yes. Bloated. Small. <laughs> yeah. What Beer about your belly you? hitting a little bit? What about Washington? Oh, yeah. Did you get any working out down there? No. <laughs> 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 Different since I was there for three days or four days, three nights. Excuses. Oh, Plenty wow. of time. A whole week. I never went four days. That's all I gotta say. Plus, he was out the day protecting, I came back. protecting Actually, our country. Actually, no, I, I so traveled. I traveled. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a lot of degeneracy going around on your story. What was up with that? Degeneracy? Oh, the casino? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. If you, if, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do, I'll do this before we get in. So, uh, we're just getting right, in it, we're getting right, right into, into it today, it, man. man. I, this, right I love in. this, yeah. Well, because we're already in episode 22. <laughs> Damn. We're really? closing up no, 23, 23. 23. We're closing up season one, wrapping it up, <clears throat> getting up on season two. But yeah, man, we're jumping right into it because we got a lot to talk about. Yeah. We have a <laughs> lot to talk about. We have just a couple more episodes. Not, I want to even say a couple more um, left in this season. Than you already said it, so it's too it's late. On to yeah. season two. <laughs> I wouldn't even <laughs> say a couple more, but that's exactly what's going on. But that's exactly what I'm going to say verbatim. Yeah, verbatim. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, tell us about uh, <clears throat> Washington. How much you lose in the casinos? Oh, okay, so first Just of all, the degeneracy. First, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> first of all, um, I didn't forget. Never. Uh, I went out for my my. Uh, I call him my brother from another mother. Uh, all right, he was my best friend in high school, and uh, went out there last year after not seeing him for like four years. I think it was. Damn. And uh, we're kind of making it a tradition to kind of go out to his birthday, a couple days, um, at the end of May, and then. Um, yeah, so we're we're the. We were going to go to the casino regardless, but the mission we were on that night started because our friend Christian is out in Seattle right now for work. He used to lit or he used to work at the San Diego Bay on the ships and stuff like that. Okay. Now he's in on the Seattle Bay, like he's working on the ships in Seattle. And I kind of was talking to him before the trip. I'm like, "Yo, like it'd be sick to see you. Like, let's see." And he's like, "Oh, I don't know." Like cuz he shares a car with his homie right now. And he's like, I don't know if, the, if my homie's going to have the car or not. He ended up pulling up. He drove 55 minutes to come see us. Oh. And we're at my friend my friend's birthday party. We're getting, you know, drinking, just having a good time, doing sure. what stupid people do and stuff. And um, it's like 1230, bro. It's like 1230, going on 1245, and he's like... He's like, oh, like you guys are tired. Like, what? The night is young. <laughs> and I'm like, God damn it, dude. Like, this is this is Christian. Yeah, <laughs> like, like yeah. this, is, this is fucking Christian. 
He's like, let's go to the Beano. Let's go to the Beano. So we can go gamble. <laughs> and then I'm looking at everyone. Everyone's like, fuck, is he serious? And like, he was the <laughs> only, like, he was the driving factor in us going. So I'm like vlogging. If you guys, if you guys want to watch this, like in real time, Ethan Heath uh, on YouTube, I vlogged it. My trip to after Washington. this episode. Yeah, after, after this episode, please. <laughs> um, maybe we'll link it in the description. We won't. Um, I'm just <laughs> so. Yeah, so he's like, it's 12.45, and I'm just like, all right, guys. like I'm vlogging. I'm like, all right, well, Christian uh, Christian convinced us to go to the casino. We get there at like 1.15, dude. We walk in the fucking front door, and there's a girl with a fucking ankle monitor on, oh, like yes. right in front of us with a group of fucking just big, brolic dudes, bro, like, like just fucking powerhouses. And then my friend, his girlfriend, was like, oh, do you see that girl with the, with the ankle monitor? When she's like right in front, I'm like, I look back, I'm like, shh. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? But it was so surreal seeing Christian, but we get to the blackjack tables. Big money? <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it didn't go, it didn't go exactly as planned. We'll okay. just say I was out a hundred on blackjack <laughs> and a hundred on a, and a hundred on a slot machine. Like that, bro? Yeah. No, it this goes. was, this was over like three hours. Oh, okay. Well, that's not Cause bad. I, cause yeah. we were, we were That's playing, not bad at all. Yeah. Right? We were, we were playing hours? free bet blackjack. And at the beginning, I won. I was up like 80 bucks, but then I was ah, like, I should have left. Ah, I know, but I was just like, <laughs> no, but it, but free bet blackjack is that if you get 9, 10, or 11, not counting face cards. So if you have no face cards, but you get 9, 10, or 11, they give you a free double bet. So you get like a Ooh. gold coin. The problem is, is I was getting a face card every single fucking hand I played. And Christian was behind me because there, there was the seats were full. And he was just looking back. Dude, I was getting 20s off rip. Two face cards off rip. I'm like, uh, you was I'm counting like, cards, I'm like, wasn't I'm you? I'm like, hell no. <laughs> I think the dealer was. But <laughs> you wanted I'm to like win. stopping it every time. The dealer, bro, every time beat my ass, bro. And there's a, t there's a dealer 22 push in that. So if the dealer hits 22, it's a push. Everyone, mm. everyone gets their shit back, which pissed me off because it was like four or five times in a row he got dealer 22 push, and everyone's looking at it show like, this is <laughs> fucking bullshit. I would have all won five times by now. But yeah, I don't know. And then the slot machine was like Ethan's girlfriend's brother. Ethan's girlfriend's name is Ariel. So Ariel's brother. Mm hmm was on the slot machine. He put like 150 in. He was at like 300. He was and out 300? the coins on the screen were like all the way up. So I was like, oh, like if it busts, it's 32K. So right. I was, I, was, I was in it, bro. I was like 100 bucks. I was like, fuck it. What? Like $100 to $32,000. Yeah. It's like, how am I going to get home with this money? <laughs> like, how am I? They're going to write me a check? Like Emerald Queen Casino everybody's, in Seattle. Everybody's going to be way in the fucking parking lot for your ass. Bro. It was crazy you say that because when Ariel was uh, Ariel put a hundred dollars in the same slot machine I did, she won six fifty. So she oh, went home shit. with five hundred fifty. She was Good the only her. one. She was the only one that won profit that night. But That's Ariel. Only one, all of us, <laughs> bro, we were out. Oh, Christian won one hundred and sixty. Okay, motherfucker, dude. Than, yeah. It's like he, he's egging all of us on, and him and Ariel are the only ones that went home. With hey, he was Ariel. studying that stuff for a while. Be like, he is. Yeah. Be like, but you free bet blackjack is different. So, like, all the normal blackjack tables were full. Like, mm. it was popping, bro. The, the casino, Emerald Queen. At that, Emerald Queen, that night? Or yeah. that, like, hour? Yes. That's crazy. Emerald Queen Casino in yeah, Seattle, bro. That yeah. shit was yeah. Oh, yeah, you work at the casino. Yeah. Not the same casino, but, yeah. Yeah, no. No, no, I don't. Yeah, it, <laughs> fun, funny enough, Xander was actually in Seattle when I was in Seattle coming home from Germany. <laughs> yeah. So, that was pretty funny. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. Yeah, like, uh, yeah Arrow won 550, dude. And, and uh, uh, is everything good? <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ariel, <laughs> Ariel won 550. Her brother was like down 300. <laughs> I'm down 200. This kid named Sean's down 200. Ethan was up 180. Lost that because he got cocky. So it was it was a fun it was a uh, it was a fun experience. I'd never played blackjack in person before mm. or bet before. It's intoxicating, which is like I understand why people are like, "Damn, like I want to go, uh, just one more hundred. Yeah, like, that's Dana White shit right there. Is yeah, blackjack. That's Dana White mm -hmm. shit. Like I know, <laughs> I see Aiden Ross and and um and Dana White, but they're betting like fucking mortgages. Yeah, on, legit. On, on, on the table, like Aiden Ross has twenty five thousand dollar chips, and he's just fucking throwing. Oh yeah, them someone the wind. was like, dude, uh, he had to Dana White called like two or three times to get like advances of like hundred thousands of dollars wires each. or something. Yeah, yeah. like okay. Well, well, I'll do like he, well, one time he was betting like twenty thousand like per hand and shit. Yeah. yeah. And 
went through like a hundred grand in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then got another advance. Like you yeah. have to call the casino to be like, oh yeah, no, he's good for it. Yeah, but Dana, <laughs> if you're rolling with Dana, you're, you're yeah. going to get the advances, bro, especially you're, in Vegas. No questions like, asked. He has yeah. all of his fights there. Every casino knows him, bro. I didn't and even Aiden think about Ross, it like that. Like, yeah. I think I watched the video. He was down like $550,000, comes back and won seven hundred, so he's up one fifty. Mm-hmm. But being able to play with that much money is is just fucking crazy. It's, it's like crazy. it's nothing. Like, ah, shit, just lost another hundred thou. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing four, right, hands, well, four hands. Let's go home. Four hands. Hundred k like that. It's I'll be like, like oh, man, I don't have no home life. no more. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. I've lost everything, but, and I will never pay that. You off. know what's <laughs> you know what's crazy though is Aiden was talking on his stream, and he's saying every everything he spends money on stream is for work, so it's a business expense. Oh. So all the money he's betting, and, or or if he he bought his assistant a mm-hmm. BMW M4 CS, that's a hundred eighty thousand dollar car, yeah. and he gets business to write expense. off a hundred eighty thousand dollars because it's on stream. And it's a gift. He's, it's like, and think about how much he got from that stream too. Oh yeah, probably, probably just that amount. I probably mm-hmm. paid for itself. Absolutely. Like, so, but yeah. So start that, subscribing, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah start subscribing, family. and we'll we'll be we'll be betting that pretty maybe one person at a time. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I don't think we'd be able to have twenty five thousand among everyone. I know. <laughs> yeah. We got Donald. He'll, he'll do the hundred thousand dollar bets. He'll figure yeah. out a way to make it work. Yeah, he'll mm-hmm. say, "Fuck it, I'm all in." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But another very interesting thing, um, just really quick to wrap up my trip, guys. It was his birthday, so we went to the casino. We just kind of hung up, hung out, did municipal, like just kind of like normal stuff. Watched Saw. We watched three Saw movies. But we went to Seattle, bro. And we went to the gum wall, and the gum wall, oh, yeah. great but disgusting. I was gonna it's say, like literally, probably a quarter mile long of everyone's <laughs> gum that they're just putting on the wall. People's names are spelled in the gum, bro. Like, did you is, lick it? Lick the wall? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's tradition. Yeah. <laughs> no, but what was really crazy, bro, is I saw my first Hamas rally. Oh yeah, in downtown Seattle, a rally for Hamas or the not uh, not Hamas rally the the free free Palestine, Palestine. Right. same same thing. Yeah, it's like the Hamas. I don't want to. It's not a rally, but it's like a yeah, it's like protest. a protest. Right. Protest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we saw that, and you know, it's it's honestly crazy, bro. Like yeah. they're like ripping up the American flags and p- fucking drenching them with blood. And, like, so that was that was really interesting, just to be able to see how many people were showing up. Like the shouting and I have it on my phone. I'll show I'll show you guys in a little bit, but right, yeah. that was pretty crazy. And I was like, I would. Washington is completely be- like so beautiful. It's mm-hmm. it's absolutely beautiful, so green. But I would not have. I was not surprised seeing it in downtown Seattle. Oh like, yeah, for that yeah, being my first place to see it. Yeah, Washington. That's probably the place, or Oregon, or yeah, you know, Oregon some, as some, well. Yeah, super Oregon liberal. Even New York, like New York, definitely. I think. Yeah, New York. They those off those protests go crazy. Yeah, yeah. You remember yeah. when Kai Sinat did his little giveaway? Oh, he got arrested. They charged him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was crazy. I bro. think it was like forming a. It was like inciting a yeah, riot. inciting a riot <laughs> <laughs> over some PS fives. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know people from the Bronx are like, "Yo, that's mine." <laughs> yeah. I'm about to get a come up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, so tell us about Germany, man. I mean, yeah, you was, got there on a cargo plane. Oh yeah, I got there on a cargo plane. That was pretty. How cool. cold was that? It depends on where you were in the very back. See, the thing is, I didn't know like how prepared these fools were. You know, I heard that we were going to be able the to military, lay bro. Yeah, but like, <laughs> you're surprised like, by their preparation. Yeah, but okay. they'd done this shit before. You know, yeah. so it was like. I heard we were gonna be able to like lay out. And stuff. He's like, I should have listened. <laughs> Cause you told me you're like people bring sleeping bags and pillows. Like oh, I don't think I'll need that. That's like too, that's OD. Yeah. Like, I mean, to be fair, I didn't need it, but it would okay, be okay. nice. Yeah. But so yeah, as soon as the lights dim out, that's when you can start like walking around. Yeah. Dude, these fools bust out the sleeping bags, start setting up hammocks in the back. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? Like, They're setting up hammocks while they're flying 30,000 feet in the air, bro. Yeah. That's kind of ill. I know. And then I'm <laughs> Do you like, know your cruising altitude? Was it about 30? I have no idea. Probably. No? It's but, not like an airline. Yeah, we're at our cruising altitude at 37,000 feet. It could yeah, have like, been. Shut it up, was, <laughs> <laughs> It was so loud in there. Uh, I just had my headphones on. I bet. Full blast, just so like... You know, just watch and whatever. Yeah. And you had to fight for a spot on the floor because those seats, not comfortable. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So I found, luckily, some dude got up, took his stuff, was like, there's my spot, you know? Jump over. Yeah, and then I look at my friends still sitting on the seats. They're all like, (laughs) next tweaking. How many people? Their backs are like this. How many people were were on the plane? 
So there was 17 of our group, and then probably another like 20 or more. Damn. I'd say. So you really are fighting for some room on the floor. Yeah. Are you like shoulder to shoulder with people? Yeah. Dude. But the first flight had more space. The second flight, I didn't find any space to lay out. But if you go in the back of the plane, we found some spots, like, you know. <coughs> but we see why nobody was back there. Because it is freezing back okay. there. We were like... <laughs> Cause so, yeah. it's, where the, it's where the thing opens, right? Yeah. That's what you mean by... Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah so we were, like, all back there. And I'd be... Dude, I was... Tri- <laughs> <laughs> I'd be tripping. What if yeah. this opens accidentally? <laughs> 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 I'm probably over the... What, what ocean divides us? What? Atlantic? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm over the Atlantic... Dude. And that, that's hey, some bro. choppy weather right there. That's some choppy mm. seas. You would do- you're falling 30,000 feet just smacking the water, bro. <laughs> you're done. You are hitting the pinnacle of gravity right there. Oh, do you think you hey, can man. even skip it all? Because you're <laughs> kind of going. find a way to like... <laughs> you're smacking you're like, it like concrete, bro. You, so you think you would just go straight down? You might be able to glide a like little Like you'd be bit. going a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know those like flying squirrels? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of just... No. Yeah. <laughs> Squirrel trying to get a nut, you know. What I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Damn, so it's freezing in the back. Yeah, freezing in the back and pretty uncomfortable. I got lucky the first time around. You get back on the way back, not so lucky, but you know that was the flight, and uh, it was like about six hours stopped in Canada. That was pretty cool. Took a little picture, and it was like on the like an island far away. You oh, know, so. like. I don't even know if it would be considered. six hours? <laughs> no, six hours to Canada. Oh. Refueled and then made okay. their way to Germany. Yeah, all the way across Canada. Yeah. Right past Vancouver, straight into Seattle. Yeah, so yeah. I can, I'm can. i going to claim that I've been to Seattle. Did you Did you play uh, They Not Like Us over the air when you went over Toronto? Oh, I had to. Just to throw up that yeah. LA vibe, you know? Mm-hmm. Let them know we rock with KDOT. Are there any windows on that plane? They're like or no? this big. They're like... <laughs> They're not big really? at all, yeah. Just enough so to put you're just your... flying, you can't even see anything. <laughs> I mean, you can... No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be like... <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you land, and you're like, bro, I got to get a bratwurst. Oh, I had to. Bratwurst. Right. <laughs> bratwurst. I had to, yeah, I figured that out. So, Peyton and Dylan would be so ashamed of us right now. <laughs> <laughs> it would be, Why? man. But, they spoke yeah. fluent German in high school. Uh, it's old oh, wrestling yeah. buddies. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They, they did. Were, but I burst. <laughs> yeah. German wrestlers? Yeah. yeah. Wrestlers. No, they're not German <laughs> wrestlers, but they were twins. They were badass. Anyways. Yeah, they were actually not aggressive at all. Oh. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> I beat them all the time on the mat. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, let me not claim that. Let me not claim that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so we had the Bratwurst and... Bratwurst. And, thank you. Uh, Danke. <laughs> yeah. Thank Danke. Danke sure. I remember that. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Means thank you, by the way. Okay, so thank you. I'm, I'm writing these down. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Just so you know, some. So yeah, we got that, and the the bratwurst and the meatball and like some other stuff. That was like my favorite German meal. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't the biggest fan of German food. But really? Yeah, they had some good beer though. Let me let me tell you oh, that for sure. Oh yeah, the Steins. The Steins, bro. Man, we went through those. I don't know what those are. What's the Stein? It's like a big the ass big, beer. Like the big cups mug of, beer. of beer. Big mugs of beer, you know, like. You It'd know, when like you see 24 like, ounces like in that the bitch? boots? Nah. Not, kind of. They have boots, like, yes. You know, like when beer, you see Vikings, like, back in the day, they're like, ah, oh, drink. And they're like, shh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, you can the go handle. To, you can go to Stierenstein and still get a Stein, and it's kind of expensive, but it's like a steak place. But you get the big old Stein, bro. You are shit faced by the time you I are bet. done with your steak. Okay, with mm-hmm. that with that being said, you're yeah. saying it's expensive. What was what was the expenses for Ooh. for a? Uh, yeah. What's uh, a big a ass stein? stein go for out there? Or was it all in the military where you just like no, charge no. it? It's all no. No. He told <laughs> me how much not. he spent earlier. Yeah, I spent, I spent a good amount out What'd there. You spend? Over band for sure. Damn, for real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's like when you're out there. When you out there, you in that red light district. Not <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy because. If the- <laughs> <laughs> and Don just got it. That's, that's, oh, man, I'm trying to go. You know? that, that, <laughs> <laughs> he said red light. He said, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> only a thou. Okay. <laughs> oh, more band. <laughs> Sorry, what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say, like, and the flight was free. Oh yeah. The so imagine. Was free. Yeah. Imagine what. I wonder how, how much, much that flight actually costs. For like an actual airline? Yeah. It's probably a lot, right? Especially oh, Canadian man. gasoline, Canadian oil. 
They, they charge by the liter, homie. Oh, uh, do they? <laughs> yeah. Mm, damn. Really? Yeah, they charge by the liter. It's weird. The damn metric system. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, not for real, man. They'd be like, Goblin. nah. To be honest, we should have we should have been on that, boot. bro. Huh? I, I like being in science class and stuff. It's fucking annoying. Is it? The metric having system. To, having to convert from the metric system to standard. Let's just go to metric, bro. Like, it's <laughs> annoying, man. Like, why do we do that? Why do we you get off and stand out and be yeah. different and miles per hour versus kil- uh, um, kilometers yeah. per mm-hmm. hour? I, and again, same shit. Why? Why do we do that? I don't know. Because we want to be different. Anybody say why in Germany? Uh, Did you forget to ask? Just, yeah. Damn it. I mean, we're just better, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've told me that. Oh. People don't view us as being better. They actually view us as. Oh yeah, so I forgot. This was a superior. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the opposite, Phil. Quite the opposite. <laughs> big thing I learned in Germany is yeah. Germans do not like Americans. Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise, Germany. <laughs> I will say. <laughs> they're Sorry. all gonna come for you now. Eh, I didn't it. say it. I didn't say it. No. <laughs> but you gotta come here to find me. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Nah. New gym. Find Phil right here. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, they weren't, like, everybody hears about, like, oh, yeah, nobody likes Americans. Sure. Yeah. And nobody likes Californians. So Ooh. you go out there, it's like, wow, they really don't like you. Like, for example. You got to say you're from Texas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if you, they hear American accent on you, they won't even. Like, we were walking around. You know, just, uh, it was like the bar street, right? Yeah. Me and the friends that I was with, we'd be walking around. Hey, excuse me. Uh, let me preface. Everybody speaks English out there for the most part. Yeah. And be like, excuse me, you guys speak English? No, no, never spoke a word of the <laughs> of the language in my life. Just looking you straight in the face. Be like, oh, okay, yeah. Let me just- <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, I don't. But have a good night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Perfect. All right, yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll catch you. Yeah, bet, bet, yeah. Bet. Later. <laughs> yeah. So it'd just be like, all right, cool. They just they look at you with like some disgust sometimes. Yeah. It'd be like. You know, like when you go up to like really? a girl in a bar and they'd be like, same shit. <laughs> For real? No like way. that? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. I'm not going to say everybody was like that. Did you have so, your fly like, down? Huh? Did you have your fly down? Fly down? Your fly. What's your fly down? Oh, no, it flies always up. Oh, man. man. See, then there's no excuses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's no, but, just rude behavior. Yeah. So uh, there was like, once they like gave you a chance to talk to them, they'd be like, oh, you know what? You're not actually a douchebag. So like, yeah. you're kind of chilling. Like, yeah. And uh, they appreciate it when you know a lot about geography, which I was sometimes just like, you know, they'd be like, oh, do you know where this is? I'm like, yeah, no way. I did like, I didn't think an American would know. I'm like, yeah, I know. And then they didn't know. So <laughs> do you know where so you're at right like, now? <laughs> so is that south or east of wherever? And you're like, yeah. What are you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> where are we right now? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I would be... Uh, they're like, I think it's east. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say that east. <laughs> this feels east. It's got yeah, an east this, vibe. Yeah, this feels like east coast type. It's got thing. that east coast type. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know they were nice once they like got to talk to them and stuff. Gotcha. So I like German people. They might not like us that much, but they were chill. Do you think it was just like the the those cities you went to, or do you think the whole country just doesn't like Americans? I, I mean, I went to a couple different cities. You did. Mm-hmm. How far from the, where you were like stationed at? So the first one, 20 minutes away, that one's pretty Americanized. Our waitress, goddamn, was she, <laughs> did she not fuck with us as soon as we entered that building? <laughs> like, it wasn't like we were rude or anything. It was like as soon as we sat down to order, she'd just be like, here's, you know, no, like, hey, welcome in. Like, you know, she just handed us our stuff. And throughout, we'd be trying to, like, talk to her so she wasn't so, you know, like, kind of break, like... Open her shell, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But nah, she was she was not cracking whole time. Stank face. I remember one time I asked her, I'm like, "Hey, we heard like we should go here," and then she looked at me. She looked at my phone, like, <laughs> shook her head and walked off. I'm like, "Okay, are you serious, bro? <laughs> Did yeah. you tip her? No. Okay, good. good. Yeah. I'm a, Maybe she's like, that's why I don't like you guys. <laughs> no, is is tipping is is there a tipping culture out in Germany or is we that, tipped like. A couple times, but it's not that prominent. It's not. There's not like a tipping culture. No, out no, there. no. It's just like not yeah, that some I'm places aware you of. don't even tip. Some places there. I've like, heard in Asia, it's yeah. like you, you don't like. Japan, or like, it's, Japan. like yeah, it's like disrespectful yeah, yeah. if you tip yeah, over there. Yeah. yeah, like I didn't do enough for you, dog. What are you <laughs> trying to say? Which exactly. is kind of interesting, huh? Because totally backwards. Because uh-huh. if you don't get tipped out here, it's like, oh, I didn't do enough for you. Like, right. 
<laughs> or your mm-hmm. broke motherfucker. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I don't mind tipping. I, I, I don't mind tipping yeah, either. Tipping, but but, you, but within I want that with, service within yeah. reason, bro. Within like reason. I'm not tipping no tablet. I ain't seen no thirty no, percent up real. here. No, there's no way I'm pushing that thirty percent. But for real, because everyone, everyone wants a tip nowadays for mm-hmm. fucking anything. I'll give you a tip. What? <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh boy. I mean, no, no. Like you. Mean, that's a, that's no, a clip. No, no, no. Like, like, like you have a question. Yeah. <laughs> who gave like, who gave this man who gave this man out? And I'll give you like a tip. Oh, like, oh, like what, what? What's the best arm exercise? Here's a tip, man. Like, you know. Like if you got a squat question. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, continue. Continue Sorry. with your tip story. <clears throat> You're a generous tipper. I was just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying that everyone wants to be tipped uh. for basically any activity they do. Mm-hmm. This is true. Yeah. You could be sitting on the side <laughs> holding up a sign, like, hey, man, thank, just you, says thank you for supporting the cause. You mind tipping me just because I'm out here, you know, donating my time? It's like, dude, no. no. <laughs> just tip me. It's like, bro, but I've been out here for like eight hours. Yeah. Doing what? Who, just who, who decided standing, that? <laughs> yeah. you, you came out here around your own time. That's okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna go, go get some lunch or some shit. <laughs> like, fuck? Everybody like, wants a tip. No disrespect, mm-hmm. you know. If, yeah, if, if you're, you're a hustler, service, then yeah. you're a hustler. But like, if you, you don't begging, just, bro, like, yeah. nah. you're not expected a tip. I this say. tip culture. Do you crazy, do you guys give out money to people in need? Like, if you see someone, like, this is actually like it depends. How? Yeah, I I, I think it depends too, bro. Like, on like, I, I don't like going going and like seeing someone and just being like, oh, they're gonna. Use this money to pay for alcohol or drugs, cause like, I think that's kind of shallow. Yeah, that's a little. I think it's kind of shallow. Presumptuous. Yeah, I mean, unless you're like in <laughs> downtown can... Seattle or like downtown LA, <laughs> LA. where, the, where everything and like that's shitting going on, on the like, floor. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but but I don't know, bro. Sometimes you, wait, sometimes, sometimes I'll just look in my wallet and if you I have give a f- the homeless people money. Huh? I mean, is, is that what you were saying? <laughs> yeah, that's what okay. I was about. looking at my notes real quick, and I was like, "Who are you talking about giving money?" No, 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 yeah. No, I was just saying, yeah. like, if I if I look at my wallet, I got a couple bucks, like I'll give yeah. it to him. And like, what's really weird, bro, is like, whenever I see someone with a dog, mm. why does it hit me different? You got dogs? Because you no, know, like, I do, I do have dogs, but I'm they like, have to damn, take care like, of this. They got to you know? take care of the dog, bro. Like, you know, if he's not eating, is he feeding the dog? Like. What if he's spending his money that he could use for himself to, eat, and, to feed yeah, the dog? Like, yeah, what yeah. if he's starving I bet more? Homeless people be putting a lot of thought into that too. You like, know, I need like, to give me a dog, bro. Double up my money. <laughs> exactly. you know what I'm saying? Oh my exactly. god, bro! Putting him on what the game right now. That's that'd be so screwed and twisted, bro. I'm trying to double like, up. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to get a dog mm-hmm. so people feel bad dog. more. But just <laughs> like, that's like, so yeah, screwed up. No, that cat would not stay. No, I need a Big Mac. Don't think you can buy this. For real, because yeah. dogs be looking at you like freaking socialists when you're eating. <laughs> they were like, hella. <laughs> like, hella. Hey, nah, buy that. <laughs> this will kill you. <laughs> nah, man, that? nah. What is that? What you got right there? I love that shit. What yeah. is that? Yeah, what is it? Nah, man, I'm sorry. I don't, I, I have to be compelled, man. Like, yeah. I have to have like almost darn near the audible voice of yeah. the Lord being like, hey, man, you need to give that dude some money. Otherwise... I ain't doing it. <laughs> I, I, I think I believe you know in good what? karma. I, I believe fair. in good karma, though. Uh, I really do. Like if I, if I'm, you know, spreading things like that, I think good comes back. I look at it. Well, first so of if all, you're I, giving blessings. Blessings will come back to you. That's one way to looking at it. I, I also kind of. I mean, karma is the antithesis of grace. So I kind of watch how I use karma, as far as like the how I use it as as a word. You know. Um, but I will say this. You're like all these <laughs> damn homeless. You know, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And so for a homeowner and stuff like that, I'd be like looking through my neighborhood like, man, I just see people on the ring cam and you see people on the ring app like, man, this dude swiped it and they all look the same. Yeah. It's a dude with a bike, with a backpack, <laughs> <laughs> with a hoodie and on, and a hoodie, and maybe look, a beanie. You know what I'm saying? And you look like you just need to just take a little shower, brother. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And so it's like, man, I just see this looks. It's like, man, I see you. I know you out here asking for money. Times are tough, but I also know that I think I seen you on my ring alert before, <laughs> dog. Like stealing my packages and shit and for my neighbor. So that's why I'm just like, man, I don't know, man. I, I can't get down with just giving, especially in this economy, bro. Yeah, like things are expensive. I don't know, man. I have very little compassion. I will say this openly and honestly. I have very little compassion for homeless people. <laughs> hey, I have a, you know, I have a plan if I ever go homeless. Like I've thought about this shit. If I ever go homeless, uh huh. 
I ain't gonna be a bum still, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You ain't gonna be what? I, I think they call those prostitutes. No. <laughs> what do you mean? You ain't <laughs> no. I was gonna say, I think they call them prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I make my money. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean a bum? Like, like what, your what? plan has been done before, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, I thought about this. I'm like, if I ever go homeless, I feel like I would, you know, I'd get like enough money to get like a gym membership, right? Just for like at least one time. So. I can somehow like go to a public library, apply to like jobs or something, check okay. in like every day, see if I got any like emails back. As soon as I got an interview, go in and take a shower or go to the <laughs> gym, take a shower, look all fresh and shit from my interview. You know, this is I'm, now I'm saying it, I'm like, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Here, <laughs> I mean, I'm just kind of thinking your, your plan to be homeless is not to be homeless. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, I get a job, I get off the streets. It's like right, you, you yeah, contribute yeah, so to I'm society. Not, yeah, 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 exactly. you wouldn't be homeless. Got it. That's your Dude, plan. Or maybe like I'd start my own civilization under like this. There's one. Or uh, shit. There's Would you be one, like a chief. <laughs> yeah, I mean I have to. <laughs> if I'm gonna like, start it. I gotta be a chief. Dude, that, there's there's that one homeless, homeless person. <laughs> one Sorry. homeless person where my uncle lives in Texas in the get- whole community takes turns buying him hotel rooms or buying him food the whole community how just did he work w- that out bro because uh, Texas is different <laughs> <laughs> he's like that the one and only guy like, you able to afford shit well. over there serious bro I'm over here so, every time, that's dog. funny <laughs> hey really, go to really quick before we wrap up <laughs> before we wrap up the German the Germany thing yeah. what was the terrain like over there Oh, it was like pretty. The uh, what? How were the buildings? Like, were they different? <coughs> yeah. How was the weather? You know, like, what was the climate over there and stuff? All right, I got you. I got you. So the weather, I'll start off with that. Bipolar as fuck. It'd be like, it'd be looking like this right now. Clear skies, right? Yeah. Five <coughs> minutes later, thundering, psh, rain coming down, and, uh, and then like ten minutes later, it's like back to normal. That's crazy. And you're just like soaked. It looked like nothing. Like you looked like you ran through some sprinklers <laughs> or something. What about the temperatures? Temperatures. Hot. It was pretty nice out there, actually. For the most part. I mean, probably like how it is right now. To was be it humid? Was it like no, nah, not humid at all. Interesting. Yeah, at least my spot I was in. Where you was chilling. Yeah, and uh, it's beautiful out there. I will say, like, when you're driving out on the open road and you see, like, you're just driving by like these little villages with like a bunch of, a bunch of farmland. They got like their little. I don't know. It, like, looks. Uh, if you imagine what an old like German village would look like, it's exactly what it looked like. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Like castles. <laughs> a little bit. We did visit a castle, but you know, just like, uh, just imagine like a small German village with like one big church. In the middle, that's nah, like just like classic, yeah, <laughs> old school looking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what it looked like on the, you know, when you're driving by. But then you get to the cities and it looks normal. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm okay, nice man. Yeah. Well, Phil, I know that you had some things you wanted to talk about. You know, yeah, man. There's some stuff happening and some craziness going on. I know we've been talking about money and finances and just. I mean, Ethan's making it rain at the homeless shelter, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as far as everything else is concerned, man, people in California, it's crazy. Gavin Newsom is the governor of California. He is a Greatest governor. governor to ever live, ever. Uh, he is yeah. one of the governors to ever live. Yeah, sure. Siri, he's the best. Oh, I don't have my watch on. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you but, do. You better say that right now. Yeah, he's, he's definitely one of the governors. <laughs> so he wants to one propose a 30 cent a mile tax for people who drive in California. So if you drive one mile, he going to tax you 30 cents. And the reason is, is the gas tax isn't collecting as much money as it used to with all the electric cars. There's no way that there's uh, no uh, way that this is going to go through. Yeah. <laughs> if this goes through, I might just drive my car into the fu- off the pier or something. Yeah, I'm a Flintstone that shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cut a hole in my car. So, so, <laughs> so, and the whole family going to be running. <laughs> <laughs> who, not, who not running? So, who so, not pushing? So you're saying even electric vehicles, if you're just traveling on California roadway, yes, sir. he's charging you 30 cents a mile. How is he going to know how many miles I drive? Well, and that's... The next question, a lot of people are saying, what's the deal? 
And so California, uh, from what I hear, is getting in touch with insurance companies to push them to put this little thing Chip or something in your vehicle. Oh so you know where you goodness. can uh, go to like uh, AutoZone or whatever, where they can take a look at why your check engine light is on or whatever. Yeah. Wherever that adapter would be is where they would. So they're gonna do like a service date, a mandated service date for your vehicle. No, just it, this thing that just tallies your miles and it just sends it to the DMV. So no service, no, no, it just tallies your daily mileage and sends it to the DMV. And then they send that off to the, I mean, it is a state entity. So you're saying if I, I gotta, I gotta, bro, so I'm saying I drive cents, like, I gotta pull, I gotta pull out a, a calculator. 30 cents a mile, I'm pretty bro. sure I drive 40 miles to work or not, maybe not 40, maybe like 30 or something. Okay. 30 miles to work and that's another 30 back. So that's 60 miles. Mm-hmm. So that's Dude. already, what the? If you drive 10,000 miles in a year, that's $3,000 you're paying for that tax. I will be driving my ass straight to AZ, Texas. Like, fuck that. Yeah, it's it's just a way to get... <laughs> bro, <yeah. laughs> electric scooter, bro. For real, man. I'm about, that about doesn't, to hop on your It doesn't your matter. Because mm-hmm. if you take an electric scooter, if you're using the fucking roadways... Would that count? What he's saying is Teslas, electric cars... But scooter... It's maybe, an, maybe if it's traveling on the roadway, <laughs> if it is if it is a licensed if it is a licensed vehicle yes. to travel on California okay, yeah. roadways, so not a scooter then. You don't need a license to drive a scooter. You're gonna take the sidewalks <laughs> and fucking and and use the use the the sidewalk things to just to go across. Guaranteed, the f- bro. They're gonna start charging scooters and shit to you like hundred <laughs> percent. Eventually, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> eventually, eventually, like eventually. Once, once everyone everybody. starts getting on the scooter trip, <laughs> no, right, bro, like, and all the scooters are like it's single lane and everyone's <laughs> yeah. just like traffic jammed, then and they're gonna start charging. If that's yeah. the thing, like. We're fucked. We need... Um, there's a wonderful man that doesn't believe in most of this stuff. His name's uh, Sheriff Chad Bianco. Yes. Oh, so yeah. Riverside County. Shouts. And if he... I don't think it'll ever happen, but if he was somehow placed in the seat of the governor, the next eight years would be probably oh. the best this state has ever done with crime, mm-hmm. jail population, yes, supporting the police... Tax benefits mm-hmm. to uh, CCW uh, CCW issues. issuer yeah, issuees yeah. issuees issue- 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 dude you. that would be great <coughs> yeah. yeah well he's doing a great job he's doing a great he's job doing a already fantastic job mm-hmm. and he even he even put out a video I just saw it two days ago where he was saying you know when you're in a when you're in a position like the sheriff it is a pol- more political position we have to get elected yeah people elect you and stuff like that so it's more political (laughs) and gaining the liking of of people in your county Mm -hmm. but he was basically saying like you know for the last so you know however many many years gavin newsom hasn't shown up to a meeting up in san jose or something Mm -hmm. i heard about that and he's consistently putting more restrictions on certain things but he doesn't know the he doesn't know the the place that they're in, I, I'm forgetting verbiage right now, but he does, he doesn't know the state that they're in, uh, and like Gavin's would, oblivious. Basically. Yes, yeah. and, like and he he's like he's like he's right. like it's he's made it incredibly meetings. easy for people to get out. We're in fact letting people out. It's harder for cops to do their jobs and keep people who are not supposed to be out in society out in society. Right, mm-hmm. right. So he's basically saying, but you know, I think they're doing the right thing. They're just not doing they're just not doing enough. And he's like, with that being said, I'm switching sides. He's like, I'm switching sides. He's like... Bianca says? Yeah. And he's like, for 2024, I'm deciding to vote for a felon to be in the White House. <laughs> oh, shit. He's like, Trump 2024. Yeah. <laughs> Make America great again. Dude, up until that point, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, Yo, he's, he's lost his damn mind. Yeah, yeah, I was like, holy Homeboy's shit. Homeboy's pretty vocal. Um, but no, yeah. I, that's one of the Bianca's things that very- I do like about Chad Bianco um, is that he's out there. He's not going to let um, the tide of like the political climate kind of dictate what he he says or feels or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he's going to keep it a buck. He's a yeah, <clears throat> but he's also a very smart man, so he's not going to just go out there and just blatantly, rant, uh, yeah. <laughs> right. He's I, I think he would make an amazing governor. I think so too. I think, I think so. Uh, as well. His political knowledge is up there amongst some of the best and even better because he has a background in law enforcement, so people will look at him more as a law enforcement um, extension more so than like a politician. Hundred yeah, percent. Sure. He speaks very well like a politician. Hundred percent. And I, I think Chad he's Bianco, up there. He, he, definitely. It's, it's, dude, 
shouts Chad Bianco. If you are, if we can somehow get him uh, to watch this, or if we, we cut this up into a short, we would get you on the pod. I know that, that would Chad. Be great. Chad, I know you'd be doing stuff uh, with other places, and you've done other interviews. We're fully mobile. We'll come out to you. We will, hundred <laughs> percent. We'll come out to yeah any sort of precinct or uh, whatever it may be labeled as. I'm not sure if it's a precinct or not, but wherever you at, Chad, we will meet you. But we are definitely supporters, man, and we uh, we definitely mm-hmm. like what you're doing with uh, your um, or, or with our county, I should say. I hope, county, but yeah. dude, I I don't think that with who's in charge and stuff like that, I don't know if it would ever happen. I really don't. I know that Riverside County would be for him for sure because absolutely everyone in Riverside County is pretty much it's a very they red. agree with him, you know. But there's very big, uh, you know. L.A. County, San Diego County, oh, those brother. have, I mean, so yeah. many people, dude. So I don't. I'm sure even, the bureaucracy I mean, is so San Francisco, thick and crazy you know, out in those like, major metropolitan areas. So, major yeah, definitely, area. man. Hundred percent. Chad, we need you as governor. So if you're thinking about it, you got some people that support you, and you got some people that want to interview you about it. So hit us up, man. Hundred yeah. percent. Even the Chad. comments in that video. <laughs> Like, oh man, that sucks. I thought you were gonna announce you're running for governor. Know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ever, um, California Uncovered or something like that. Or Cali- he posted it on his on his Instagram page. I know, but I think it just was- went viral, so it okay yeah. popped up. On he my- did a video, a uh, sit down interview with somebody specifically from like a California based uh, YouTube channel, but I forgot the name of it. But anyways, uh, yeah. So Gavin Newsom, and again, uh, this hasn't gone through. This is just talks. Wants to do thirty percent or thirty. Uh, cents per mile, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, that would be great. Other things that involve the number 30, weirdly involving politics too, is in New York, the case uh, against Trump for like hush money that he was paying Stormy down. 34 counts. And, <laughs> 34 counts. He's found guilty on all 34 counts. All 34. <clears throat> all 34 are found guilty. So they haven't, uh, I don't think they're doing sentencing. June 11th right is the <clears throat> sentencing. Which is so crazy, man. I know that because I watched UFC whatever and they it was were last night, it. and they were they were talking. Oh, yeah. it, it was something, yeah. One thing that's interesting though is that after the announcement was made that he was charged with uh, thirty-four uh, charges, felony charges, by the way, mm-hmm. his site, Trump's site, crashed from the amount of traffic and donations that he was getting. Yeah. Holy shit. I saw, four, <laughs> crashed. I saw something like 30, 35 million in 24 hours or something. Something absolutely Damn. ridiculous. 34 mil? Could you imagine hit, making 34 million and crashing your own website? That is and you know Homeboy's got <laughs> servers. You know yeah, he's paying he for got servers. Mad servers. You know he's paying for them servers. So to crash a site on Trump's budget of servers off of pure donations... That is wild. That just speaks the truth, man. And, like, it's honestly really ridiculous. I mean, it's those charges are probably not fake, right? Those, those are probably – he probably did do that. But what politician has not done that? When you're thinking about Clintons and, and – Well, it's past and, the statute of and, limitations. That's the thing that's crazy. Well, so even oh, if he did yeah. do something, it's past the statute of limitations. So what the judge is saying is on all these counts, we can't charge him for – you know, trying to take campaign money to pay somebody off who paid somebody else off because that statute of limitations has passed. However, we can say that that type of money or that type of money dealings where you're moving finances around, he probably did that with ill intent to cover other things up. So they created 34 counts of other things that he possibly could cover up, so and fake. they found him just guilty fan, on all of fantasy. those. Holy shit. Yeah, yes. But that's what happens when you go against <laughs> a judge in, in Manhattan. You know, and that's another thing too. So it's like that. Just it. Yeah, they, they should have mm-hmm. changed the judge, and they should have given like a total neutral judge. And we, see, like, the judge, that is, that judge getting... is known for being very, very on one side. Yes, and for someone who is he's donated for to Biden side, directly. That is oh, not like hundred yes. percent. Oh, he's Biden. Bo- uh, so that's not fair. <laughs> like that. Is, that is not given. That's not given a fair trial. And his daughter. Even if I mean he's. Like I said, he's probably he probably, he probably was real, bro. But did. when you're looking 100%. at people who have lied to them, like Bill Clinton, dude, he lied straight to the media, and they didn't do shit. They didn't do they, nothing. Everyone knew he was lying. Everyone, probably everyone. <laughs> well, they did a <laughs> private investigation into Biden having um, documents that were classified at his not only residence Talking but also it. at. Uh, Talking to his ghostwriter. <clears throat> and yeah. so, ghostwriter? yeah, they basically said. 
they found him guilty of it and he shouldn't have done it but because he's so old they 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 don't think they should prosecute oh, that no. is literally what they said so about he can it. be president but he can't be prosecuted right so exactly. uh, but ah. no one's above the law when it comes to to trump uh, so yeah, so 34 counts. Uh, he crashed the internet, or at least his website, uh, with the amount of donations that he is getting. And I think this is where most people are going to click off. By the way, oh yeah, for sure. Hey, and and you can. Su- we're not saying who to vote for. We're not telling yeah. you who you should support or not. We're just saying take a look at what is happening. This is something that is a hot topic. This is happening. Trump has gotten charged with it. Whatever you feel about it is what you feel about it. Okay. And you and type it in the comments. <clears throat> if you think, nah, man, he's guilty. This dude is an orange-faced menace. Put <laughs> it in the comments. His like, toupee I, pisses me off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and Because we can laugh at, at, at all things. I think it was funny when Family Guy made fun of Trump and they had him like with little hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and like, and, like yeah. the orange, super orange mm-hmm. face. It's like, come on, let's yeah. be funny and let's actually laugh at yeah. things that are funny we can you know what i mean i know i mean i feel like we like us three or us four as individuals can pretty much make a joke out of anything yeah absolutely much. like we we're not really like never take nothing personal yeah. like that no yeah. so and everything that we talk about on this podcast is like it's mostly objective right like 100 yeah. percent. we're just talking about news stories and everyone's gonna have differing beliefs we respect you either way this is just how we see it we're yeah. not pushing or Mm-mm. indoctrinating or trying to indoctrinate anyone it's just how we see it and yeah, you guys have any comments. other views? Like, put it in the down comments. below. And yeah, yeah, let honestly, us know. We like, hear. We'll look talk at about the it. stuff yourself. I would just probably say, like, instead of having just a complete bias, look at it, read into it, and then if you come to a conclusion that's completely off, hundred percent, at least you're aware about it, and at least you're knowledgeable about it. Mm-hmm. And you know, that's yeah. it. That's all I ask is like, and, do your research. And we've that's got it. that's it. And we've got friends, from, uh, at least I do, from all different political, me too. Uh, you know, oh, yeah. affiliations and all that kind of Most stuff. Most of my family. Yeah. yeah, and the the cool thing about it is, man, is that <clears throat> as long as you can, at the end of it, agree to disagree on certain things. Mm-hmm. And I know for me and my friends that see things differently politically, once we are open about it. It's honestly better because now we get to make fun of each other for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, like you know, so and that's just kind of what guys do anyway. We love to look for avenues to make fun of each other, mm-hmm. right? And that kind of bonds us. Yeah. Like I think there was like a saying. Someone said like, um, like men will uh, say the most horrible stuff to each other, like in order to stay friends, but they really don't mean it. Yeah. yeah, yeah but like exactly. sometimes, but then on the opposite end, girls will say like really mm-hmm. nice things to each mm-hmm. other to stay friends, but they really don't mean yeah. it. <laughs> So it's like it's kind of funny how that works, but yeah, <clears throat> yeah it it's just one other thing that now I get to make fun of like my friends who see things politically different. We get to make fun of each other for that, yeah. and, and it's just another thing yes. that makes us closer. And it's always 100%. fun like when someone doesn't shout out to James, personal, you know, <laughs> yeah, like, when someone don't take like like political beliefs super personal. Like at the end of the day, it doesn't really like it affects us all, but like mm-hmm. you know what you gonna do, you know? Yeah, one vote isn't gonna change. The- well, I mean. <laughs> I mean I, it doesn't, won't change doesn't the mean don't vote, but hey, like depending yeah. on like yeah. what you think and spiritually and what I'm, you believe, I'm, man. It's yeah. like at the end of the day, there's only one ruler. You know what I mean? Exactly. And so, one hundred percent, you can only that's, do what you can do. That's very good. That's very good. Yeah, yeah. What and at, at I mean, at the end of the day, I think not voting is worse than voting for a different belief. Mm. I think not even interacting with it's like no, dude. Like if you're if you're not like take advantage. Obviously, of if you haven't yeah. like your committed part. any felony if you don't have a felony or anything like that it, I think no, specific especially felonies those guys. right <laughs> yeah I know yeah yeah well jelly, all roll, about that jelly rolls uh, <laughs> that, that sucks, <laughs> sucks for jelly roll because jelly roll's a good person he and is. I would not mind him being Voting. pardoned jelly roll jelly roll jelly roll the rapper like the country oh. art he's oh like, yeah. yeah oh that dude kind of the big yeah, they yeah, do yeah, face yeah. tats okay. and stuff like that yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's done. Right, I, I think that's more. People, I think yeah. that's more detrimental to society is if you don't even interact with it. Mm, I think it's yeah. more important to wh- whatever you do or say or vote, like just vote. Like, yeah, get, get in you, touch if with you have policy. That right, then ex- exercise that right. Yeah, hundred percent. Get in touch with policy, not necessarily the politician. Look at the policy, and that's all I say with my friends. Like, yo, if we differ on views that's fine but just tell me why you like the policies and if they got some answers i can rock with you yeah. because it shows you've done some research you you you're you're standing firm in your convictions i can mess with that mm-hmm. but it's just that people are like oh well you know the news said that this and that happened and it's like well so you're just repeating what you hear yeah like tell me something new bro yeah, like yeah. tell like <laughs> if you're gonna disagree or whatever and that's whatever. what i meant by reading into it becoming knowledgeable about it from an objective view and then just pulling your conclusion from it, I think that's it's it's far better, dude. Like it's 
on on both sides if you want to say both sides yeah it's detrimental on both sides just to watch something and just completely run with it yeah for and sure and then if someone asks oh really like what about and then you're like eh. I just right. you know what I mean like 100. read about it so you sound knowledgeable about it uh-huh. like back, be able to back it up uh-huh. yeah. that's why I, want, I, I don't normally talk about things that I can't give examples to mm-hmm. you know what right. I mean Like, and then it's cool to also be like yeah I'm not really too up on that particular topic but I'd love to hear about it yeah. You know, and I, one of one of the best things that I've also learned too with arguing, not even arguing with people, but when you're talking with people that have a different point of view, I love to say one thing to them, and it and it just it it allows uh, things to kind of calm down and things. And if it's a difference of opinion, someone will say something like, "Oh yeah, I I, I don't agree with that, but I I like this." I'll be like, "Fascinating, <laughs> <laughs> fascinating. Tell me why." And then I will know if you're full of shit because a lot of people are like, oh, well, because, you know, s- studies have shown or statistics say and, mm-hmm. you know, this particular uh, college did a study on this. Yeah. Or if you're just like, well, you know, that's just common knowledge. Then I'm like, <laughs> Dude, you're an idiot. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's a great way. I'm just giving you a little nugget of information to find out if someone's full of shit. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. Tell me why. Because it's so non-approachable. Yeah, it exactly. almost sounds like you... You're curious. I'm uh-huh. curious. You spark yeah. my curiosity. Not like... Yeah, and it's yeah, non-aggressive, like, explain yourself. Like, yeah, that yeah. would be like, well, I don't have it's to. Like, if really? you don't know, then you don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you hit him with that, man, that's fascinating. Could you could you tell me why? Yeah. If they can't... Because... Yeah. Right. Yeah. If they hit you with the... That, 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 you know you full you don't of even shit. Have, you don't even have up. to say you're full <laughs> of shit. But yeah, no, I'm chilling, like, you know, whatever. Right. Okay. But I'm you know sure. mentally yeah, this yeah, person yeah, exactly. has no idea. Yeah. So. Oh, 100%. okay. A little yeah. nugget of information yeah. out there for you to find out if someone's <laughs> full of shit. Just be like, fascinating. <laughs> you don't even have to be fascinated by it. What else do you have? Oh, so... Uh, lastly, before we kind of go into our isms and, and whatnot, Pops, again, shout out Pops, wrote down a whole book of isms for us. Shout out Pops. Um, shout but out. we know what time it is, man. We know the season, mm-hmm. ending May, which was Mental Health Awareness Month. Shouts out to Corey. Yeah. Uh, definitely putting out that mental health awareness, uh, you know, alarm for people to check out some of the other episodes and, and whatnot. We'll be putting some more uh, shorts out regarding that. But May is done. We're coming up on June. Spring so long Uh and if you haven't been came and went came and went if you haven't been training up in spring i hate to say it but if you're just starting to get to the gym you may not see the results that you want to by summer because we're already here Mm. however that doesn't mean that you shouldn't get into the gym so continue to do your thing but i know for instance i am doing a different diet okay uh up in the protein still doing the uh, caloric deficit nice but up in the protein more and actually changing when i do my cardio <clears throat> so i do a fasted cardio okay. nice. and so i'm kind of switching up the routine trying to directly target some of the fat areas around the gut you know i'm not yeah. you know, not ashamed to say it you know yeah, yeah. yeah we all got that we is all the got, got, for, for men that's back the, from germany man you having them brought I, I hear for <laughs> most that's where your body pulls from body pulls fat from last exactly it's like the hardest part to pull fat from and y'all i'm 36 and, and the, so oh, yeah. that time the, the you know what i'm saying the, the metabolism the aging, ain't what it used to be it ain't what it used to be mm-hmm. and yeah. so with that being said sometimes you got to do what you got to do and me i am a fan of sweets i have a sweet tooth i me love too, mm-hmm. candy yeah. and cookies and chocolate uh, and that's anything my jam. in between and everything and anything mm-hmm. in between yeah <laughs> however I also know that you, if you have a sweet tooth, you need to get your ass in the gym, yeah, right? For and sure. so, if you guys are doing your thing, you guys are out there and y'all are feeling guilty Amen. about that, <laughs> about the extra cookies that you snuck because you don't want your kids to hear all that rattling of like the plastic opening, like, right? Yeah. So hey, what you eat, mom? No, no, nothing. <laughs> Go ahead, get yourself that cookie, man. If you need to get it, get yourself that thing. But also start tallying that stuff. Yeah. Start keeping a mental note, like you know, man, I have four cookies. I got a gym membership, and I haven't gone in a while. How how many of the, them cookie days are going to be stacking up? It's time mm-hmm. to get into the gym. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yep. what, with that in mind, talking about summertime gym routines, right? I'm hitting the gym uh, four days a week. I upped an extra day. So Hell yeah. yeah! Four days a week. Yes, sir. Uh, fasted cardio caloric deficit but i'm upping the protein amount that i'm taking in um from what i used to do Mm -hmm. and so i'm finding a really nice sweet balance where i feel like my energy isn't completely depleted because i'm upping the protein Mm -hmm. yeah carb up before i do my my workout routine so i get the energy in feel that nice tight pump doing different things what are you guys doing for your summer prep 
And is there I don't any- think Xander can speak on this. Uh, <laughs> well, that's why I looked little- at you. Yeah, okay, I look okay, right yeah, past yeah, this guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did a little bit. Yeah. Uh, what? what? Are you- <laughs> Talk about it. What are you guys doing for your summer routine? Do you guys have summer goals? Summer routines. What are y'all switching up since uh, the last time you guys really planned uh, like your workout routines? And, and what are you guys doing differently specifically for summer? Which y'all All right. got? Well, I'll start off because mine is pretty short. Unfortunately, I mean, it's, some people would view it as a blessing. I view it as kind of a curse. My metabolism is super fucking fast. Mm. And uh, so I'm just going to like. You have a problem keeping on weight is what you're saying. Huh? Yeah. Keep right. Trying to bulk and stuff. That is that's always been my issue. So I'm thinking, but when I do bulk, I get like a, I get a pretty big belly sometimes. Okay. So I'm gonna think like most times. Most times. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. But I'm thinking I'm gonna keep it a little bit leaner, um, just like not eat as much. That's I don't really have caloric to, deficit. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I got you. Just keep it a little bit leaner until like maybe August, and then we going crazy. 170 by the end of the year. Well, and here's a nice thing, too, though. Once you actually start to develop a physique, um, you know, like Xander and Ethan, you, you kind of – it's almost like once it's built, now it's a maintenance kind of a thing, right? So mm-hmm. you can kind of go through a caloric deficit, and instead of trying to figure, like, oh, I need to lift heavier or I need more weight or whatever, you can kind of maintain with your physique and just start to hit that caloric deficit and still yeah. kind of get those same results. Am I yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to, like – you don't need to go ahead and lift – heavy all the time if you're where you're at you don't need to try to gain any more muscle like you said i would probably do like just more reps at a good weight yeah not a not a low weight or a high weight but a good weight a solid weight whatever that may be that's why i'm not getting in like super specific because everyone is everyone's everyone's different everyone's different different. just a good weight that at the end of like if i was maintaining 12 to 15 reps a set uh personally every like you said everybody's different i like 8 to 12 that's like for See, me, that's I do eight to twelve. That's what well, I do for do gaining weight. muscle. Personally, right. for gaining muscle, I go heavy, and I'll try eight to twelve. For so that's eight to ten. Like your spring season routine, mm-hmm. though, right? So what you're saying is summertime, you're trying to cut back on that a little bit and not really bulk up, but trying to get that cut. Mostly, in for I'll, the I'll do. And then, can you as, break down your summer routine for me? As far as right now, and do that because I'm gonna hit hit a break real quick. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Um. So as far as right now, like uh probably you know 10 to 12 reps um faster cardio as well i mean yeah. i don't really eat too much anyways i've i've had a problem with that for like years <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, eat yeah. till very late in the day type stuff mm-hmm. um but i have noticed that i will um honestly be hitting a, a lot more different variations for each muscle group you know like two to th- probably like around three each muscle group just to get the insane pump, but without I'm not lifting super heavy. I'm just lifting good solid weight. So I feel the pump. I can visually see the pump, uh-huh. and I just feel good. I look good. Um, it is different. And then the diet, bro. Like, real quick, honestly, personally, the, I would say like going for strength wise, just to combat you a little bit there. I'd say six to eight is like kind of like a perfect range for going for strength. It's really interesting that you say that because I don't I don't think I've ever knocked it down to like six reps. No, ever, bro. Ever, bro. Dang. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe in the vlogs and stuff like yeah, when we're yeah. I think thirty five sh- or two forty five. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try to go four to six. Like, I think that's yeah. happened a couple of times. But like, as far as your routine goes, right now, um, the routine is coming in. I'm doing a lot more stretching. I'm I'm trying to get my hips and my knees a lot more flexible my range of motion needs to be up there a lot more are you gonna start yeah. rolling around again too or i don't know bro probably why? i mean that's not really in my frame of mind but that would honestly be very good for getting in shape for summer i mean i would definitely slim down yeah like, rolling every day as far as how many calories i'm burning like the water weight i'm just, losing mm-hmm. yeah rolling around like jujitsu rolling and stuff like that if you know you know if you didn't now you know yeah, now um you know. but uh yeah, I don't really do too much cardio, honestly. I'm basically just cutting back calories. I'm, uh, I feel like I'm at a good point where my body is right now. Mm-hmm. Like, some are ready. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I've never had a fucking raging six pack ever. Maybe when I was cutting shit, a shit ton of weight. Yeah, maybe. But that was because I was, but yeah, you're, I was you're running all yeah. those miles. And like I said, the last place where you're pulling that fat from is your stomach. 
I was running so fucking much. It's like that's the only fat I had on my body left. I was skinny. I was fucking small. Yeah, he so was pretty small. I was. Yeah. I, I mean, did we have were both a six pack. Super fucking small back then. Yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah, yeah. I was. I was around one thirty. You were one thirty. Yeah. Shut up. But that well, was be- you. What were you at? But I walked around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, for real. Where yeah. are you at right now? One sixty. I'm out. I'm out. One eighty. Yeah. yeah, for real. For, yeah. Damn. But I was walking around at a buck guys. fifty-five. I was yeah. walking around at a buck fifty-five when I wrestled one thirty. So I, I was a buck. You fi- would cut twenty pounds to fuck. Yes. Yeah, that's what. Or, or on on average. That was the norm right there. On average, yeah, yeah. On average, so I cut twenty-five pounds. My first tournament, I think we were in how Bakersfield. Did, was it Bakersfield it or Fresno? Cut? Bakersfield. I remember Bakersfield. And I was running nine miles a day. I think I've told you this though. I was running. Did ni- you? I was running nine miles a day, basically three and a half in the morning at six a.m. Three and a half after. Three and a half, basically. I went to practice, then three and a half when I got home. So I was running about nine miles a day. That's what I calculated it to. Jeez. Damn near nine <laughs> miles. So seven days a week too. So nine times seven is. Right. You're a freaking beast, bro. So twenty. I fucking 20 hated pounds? it. I didn't like it. Like yeah. it's not like yeah, I fucking killed that <laughs> shit. It's like every time I got, I'm like fuck this, dude. Like I don't like running. I don't like running. But that's how I got to that weight. But now it's nothing like that. I'm not running. I'm I'm walking on an incline at two and a half miles an hour for thirty <laughs> yeah. minutes. Yes. You know yeah. when I would run three miles in twenty three minutes. And bro, honestly, so, could you kind of break that down? Because I think there's a big mixed conception where people are like, bro, I gotta hit this treadmill and I gotta sweat it out and I got break down kind of that misconception. If you're kind of just at an incline and you are at it for like twenty five to thirty minutes, yeah, you're burning around two hundred fifty calories easy without. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think, think it. Go ahead. I think I was just gonna say I think it. Um, I think doing that on an incline for about thirty minutes is the same. Oh, uh, maybe you know what's the exact? I it's it like, like burning the same amount of calories exa- as. Like, I don't know the exact ratio, but I do know that walking <coughs> with your heart rate being elevated, sure, for thirty minutes or I twenty to thirty minutes. Everyone's different. Uh, burns more fat. It burns more oh, yeah, fat. That's right. When you're running, it burns fat and muscle. Because the first thing that's be able that is able to be liquefied into energy is muscle. Mm-hmm. It takes longer for fat to be liquefied into energy. So when you're walking at a longer duration, it's able to pull fat instead of immediate energy. I'm pulling from muscle. I'm liquefying muscle to that pull that sense. energy. Because your body's like, I don't need all of this energy right now. I'm just yeah. at an elevated rate. Yeah. yeah. So, so I don't need so to tear it's up able, <laughs> At an elongated, sense. increased heart rate, heart rate, it's your body is more keen on pulling that fat, makes sense. you know, slowly burning fat instead of burning muscle. <clears throat> That's why I think it's crucial. If you're just trying to lose weight, it's like just wake up, do a fasted cardio, max incline, two and a half miles an hour for at least twenty to thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'll put mine at uh, Solid. I think at like a seven and a half percent incline on you gotta it. You got to go fifteen. Max it. You do fifteen. You have yeah. to. <laughs> Okay, so I was doing like seven and a half, but I'll do that thing for like a half hour at just maybe at like a four or whatever it is. So start half, start off, start off, start off at 15% incline for 15 minutes at 2.2 miles an hour. Okay. Start yeah. there. Uh, yeah, and if you can go up to 20 minutes, some days you'll be able to easy. Some days you're like, yeah, this fucking know sucks. You yeah. know? It's not easy. No. It's a slower pace, but you're walking uphill. And try not to hold your arms on the on the oh, front yeah, on the things room. or the side things, and then you'll really feel it. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's another thing too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll yeah, be catching <laughs> myself. <laughs> Me too. I will be catching each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yeah, slapping yeah. each other's hands. Exactly. Get your hands off of that. <laughs> yeah. What you think you're doing? Yeah. Cheating yourself. Yeah. Two minutes later, I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> this has been a good podcast, man. This yeah. has been a really good podcast. I think we're talking about some really good things. Oh, oh sorry, we got political there for a second, guys. I know. Hey, you know. This what? is no. not a political <laughs> podcast, but it's it's a, and we're not definitely trying to relevant. Sway anybody? Exactly. Yeah. Again, do your thing. We research. love every single one of you guys, regardless. Yes. Hundred percent. A hundred percent. And and honestly. 100% algorithms. If you're putting things in the comment section, whether you agree or disagree, it's only helping us. It's out. helping yeah. us. It helps us. So if you don't like us, put it in there. And, and if we hate. get enough, and we, we may will just it. respond to you. We yeah. will, yeah, we will respond to hate comments. Yeah. On a pod. On a pod. We're just waiting for him. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Come on, please <laughs> hate yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, please uh, hate us. Please, yeah. please send some hate. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, a lot of kind of uh, a lot of stuff happening in California politically. We're not trying to down, you know, be Debbie Downers about political uh, issues or nothing like that. Just letting people know what's going on as well as uh, the time of year, getting ready for the summer, doing our thing. Uh, we got another uh, summer, I guess, based episode coming when we do a mobile uh, podcast. Uh, we got something kind of special coming up for you in yep. the next couple of weeks. But anyways, with that being said, Ethan, I would have to agree with you. We have discussed a lot. We've had a great pod, talked some politics, talked about our workout routines for the summertime, some of our goals I don't even know if we did mention the actual specific goals for the summer. If we have them, I think we kind of like touched it. Just lose a little weight, bit. Look just a little lose, bit more shredded. Yeah. Lose weight lose and shredded. get more shredded. Summer bod. If you know, you know. You know. You how, know. What man. time are we at? How, how long have we been talking? We're hour wrapping it up, bro. We're we're only at uh, an hour and five minutes. So yeah. Holy we're wrapping bro. things up That's right crazy. now. Donald's shaking his head. He's like, I'm over this. <laughs> like, I need to take a piss. But yeah, got it. Yeah. <laughs> we got plenty. Well, those are the monsters. Well, let's hit him with an ism. Let's we hit him with an ism. People with that ism. And so, with that being said, guys, talked a lot about a lot of good stuff, but we also got them isms for you. Oh, and yeah. uh, Pops got it today. Pops, Pops has been killing it with the isms, man. Mm. I think he it, never misses. He doesn't really, bro. And I think I sent. Um, I think I sent. <laughs> Who did I send that to in the group chat? Look at Donald, Phil. Look at what you're doing to him. What is he doing? <laughs> Do you all done. hear that squeaking? <laughs> He's done. Probably. He's laughing right now. <laughs> Two more minutes, Don. I'm sorry. Don, Do you need to use the restroom? We are not taking another break. Yeah. Because we will, we will, I've had to I've had to use the restroom for probably twenty minutes now. That's why I'm asking how long this has been. <laughs> well that's what I'm saying. Like You're I'm like, how long has this been? Like, I'm looking for the ism right now and I'm like, I know I sent it to Ethan. I think it's in the text, the video. Do you want me to do you want me to, do you want me to pick one out? Yeah, if you don't, if if you can, because I'm looking for the video and I th- I thought I had sent it to you. I have you. it. Yeah. The video? Yeah, just go to go to the. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll pick one. Okay, pick one. All right. So Ethan's gonna pick one, but this is kind of cool because pops. Pops is he's been writing these out, and Ethan's gonna pick one from Pops. So while he looks through, sees what's going on. Pops has been writing down isms from people from the 18th century. 18th. Pops is retired now, so he's yeah. got some time to do some research. Uh-huh. Found his way all the way down to the 18th century. Damn, he working his way to he like working the his beginning. Man, <laughs> you get some shit from the dinosaurs <laughs> for real. <laughs> it's like when uh, astrologists like look through and like uh, they're they're like, oh yeah, the beginning of time starts here uh-huh. uh, with this Big Bang, and it's like Pops is going all the way back for isms, like with the Big Bang of isms. Yeah, yeah. And oh, so, like, yeah. this one's this one's good, I think. So shouts out to Pops because he made Ethan the- light up right now. So this right. one's good. I think, bro. This is does like. It, does it also have the person who wrote the ism? No, can you see it? No, okay, not so on this, this one. is just. Uh, I'll look for it and maybe we can give a shout out in the description when I go home and actually read the book okay. of isms. But go ahead, Ethan. What you got? This is coming from Pops. This one says, "Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail." Ooh, Damn. that shit was hot. That slaps, dude. <laughs> Read Eat. that one more time. That oh, shit, shit is heat. Go ahead, one more time. Oh, I <laughs> close the video. Hold on. Go. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Leave a trail. Leave a trail. Damn. Pops Nuff, done did it again. Pops did it again. Nuff said, yeah. dude, we need to figure out who actually uh, said that. <laughs> that shit is heat. Yeah, yeah we'll try yeah, and find yeah. that. Yeah, we're going to get that like, coming to you. We'll, uh, we'll find it out. I'll put shit. a caption right here. It was wrote by right here. <laughs> and it's going to say unknown. unknown. Yeah, yeah, bro. If it is unknown, I'm not putting anything. Okay? <laughs> if, if we find out, it'll be up on the screen. If not, it's by anonymous. But don't, but don't be afraid. if you know, comment it. Yeah, if you know, comment it. But don't be afraid to chart that path. Mm-hmm. Do your thing. Do what you got to do. You know, there's a lot of people that talk about legacies and families. And, you know, I think Corey had even mentioned his pops was a firefighter and all that stuff. Uh, Shouts out to, uh, you know, all the lineage of people who are following in their father's footsteps and everything. But also, if you're one of those people that's like your dad was a dentist, your grandpa was a dentist, your uncle's a dentist, but you want to be a firefighter? Go do that, bro. Yeah, make something different. (laughs) Chart that path. And lastly, I will also say this. This is kind of just 
stuck out to my mind as far as charting your own path. One thing that I have also noticed, there's something that it, it kind of happened, a conversation that me and my wife were having about some family members and some things that are going on with extended family. And we got to talking about last names. And one of this, this uh, conversation kind of came up about this gentleman that we know, family friends that has a last name that he's kind of contemplating if he gets married, taking his wife's last name. Really? Interesting. Yes. And he Breaking is, traditions. <clears throat> Breaking traditions because he had a bad upbringing and had a kind of a rough childhood. And charting your own path just made me think about this. If you are considering something like that and you have a, a legacy of heartache or some, some bad childhood, you know, things that you went through and you're a man and you're thinking about doing some stuff like that, you have the opportunity to be the point of change for your lineage. Yeah. So if you're thinking about doing something like that or, or you're you know ashamed of your past or something like that, chart that path yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about going down that path that other people sent that may be negative. Chart that own path. Do your own thing and set the record straight for a new, uh, a new season, a new chapter, uh, and a new legacy for that, uh, for that family. So just something I was thinking about. I don't know. All right. Hey, I'd love to hear it. <clears throat> right great. on, man. Got, definitely went over a few things, uh, a lot to talk about. <laughs> and so with that being said, Ethan, you want to sign us out? Yeah. So Donald can Donald do is thing? literally jumping into the, into the <laughs> yeah, camera. Guys. So I'm going to make this quick. If you guys like the episode, like, comment, and subscribe. Be on the lookout for new shorts, new content coming your way soon. New podcast coming at a remote location yes, soon sir. as well. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys stay blessed, stay fit, stay safe. We'll see you all in the next one. Boom. Later. Donald, do your thing.